Konnichiwa. And a recap of day 14 action. Of course, for all the rest of the days, days 1 through 13, there Can you hear the English? So, uh, please search for Grand Sumo Highlights. The crowd is very excited about this match. We also have uh, Grand Sumo Live, just like uh, we are having it now. That'll be on... Raja is just advertising for NHK for a minute. I just wanted him to announce the match. He's not doing it. Come on. That broadcast will be for an hour and a half. Hero and Don't forget about that. Don't forget about that. Bring the Natsubasha to a close and see who will clinch the championship. Again, NHK's predictions. Alright, he's just not talking about this match. Okay, this match though is Ura versus Atami Fuji. Uh, and the crowd is very excited because both of these men are 6 and 7. So one of them will get to go to 7-7 seven and seven and have a chance tomorrow for Kachikoshi. The other, unfortunately, will be Makekoshi and have a losing record for the May tournament. Uh, both are comfortable at the top of the rankings of the rank and file, my, the Maigashira ranked wrestlers. Uh, Tommy Fuji at M1 and Ura at M4. So uh, they're not going to go down significantly. But for Atami Fuji, if he can manage to beat Ura here and then his day 15 opponent, it could mean promotion to Komosubi. And uh, that would be significant for him, of course. And uh, But I think a lot of the fans that were reacting in the crowd um, are sporting uh, Ura merch. Uh, they got their Ura towels and stuff. He, he continues to be a very, very popular rikishi. And I think a lot of people, after he started so well, would like to see him at least get a Kachikoshi out of this tournament. Um, so uh, we shall see. Of course, it's Saturday. So sold out crowd here at the Koku Gikan. Uh, and everybody's just waiting. Uh, we have some of the big high profile matches coming up. This, this, this video, I'm going to let run for two matches. Uh, and just, it doesn't seem like there's any big reason for me to cancel and do separate matches when I'm just doing this watch along, should we call it that? Uh, where you're, you're watching me watching the match. Um, and uh, this one's about ready to go. Uh, I did, because I'm watching the NHK feed, um, I did get to see the head to head. <laughs> Some adorable girls in the crowd who are like clasping their hands, like, come on, Atami Fuji. And they have their Atami Fuji towel. Um, uh, so they fought each other twice, uh, Ura and Atami Fuji, and they've each won once. So, uh, no huge statistical, uh, anomaly, uh, or, or predictive nature of statistics there to indicate who might win this match, but, uh, we shall see, uh, a little bit more important for Atami Fuji, just because, like I said, if, if he can win today and tomorrow, he has a chance to be promoted to Komosubi, in July. Um, <clears throat> all right, I think they're ready. I don't think they're going to throw salt again. Is now trying to prevent a losing record. The Gyoji this... for this bout is Kimura Konosuke. Again. So Tommy Fuji starting in this match on his left, on, on my left, and uh, Ura's on the right. Try to snuggle inside. Snuggle. Good solid grip on that silver and Mawashi belt. Kind of shifting to the left, but Atam Fuji knows he can't give that grip. Atam Fuji wants to slide in his right hand. He's at an awkward position. Just right in the middle and of the dojo. Uda has that right hand in deep. He wants to keep his lower body lower. Tommy Fuji kind of has his arms Fuji, like locked. Atami Fuji kind of grabbing. Uda's right arm, locking him up. And will it be another uh, lift out move by Atami Fuji? Gets him oh, right at the edge. Outside. Oh! Now uses that kote nage, I believe. Yeah, I don't know what the Kumanite there. Uda and 
Fukuda suffers a Make Koshi. So that's a losing record for Uda. This is a good match, though. Wakami well, Fuji got that double hand outside position. And the crowd. A few envelopes. About 10 Kotenage. sponsor envelopes. Kotenage. Wakami Fuji, a really uh, breakout star of 2023. And he uses that Kotenage arm lock throw at the end mm -hmm. to beat Uda. Let's check the replay. Uda diving in. Right hand in deep. All right. Can you see? No, it's not going to. Kotenage arm lock throw. So that's the Kimarite. And that was exactly Uda would be the guy in the purple going down. And in this one, Atami Fuji would be in the blue. Uh, so there we go. Okay, so we're going to keep going here, and uh, we're going to just keep running until we get Daisho Takayasu. Fun matchup. Uh, Daisho already has Kachikoshi at M1, which is what Atami Fuji is going for. He's, in fact, got nine wins already. He's in the leader group with the four-loss leader group, uh, and there's five guys in that group at the moment, uh, and, of course, our two leaders who have not fought yet. And all of these guys fight in the final, like, four, four, four or five matches here. Um, yeah. Uh, Shonano Umi, Oshoma, Hoshoru, Abi, four guys, all with four losses, all fight in the final four matches. Plus, Koto Zakura and Ono Sato, the two guys with only three losses. So everybody that's got a stake in the... Uh, you show the championship is about to about to fight today, uh, so this was kind of a, a little appetizer. Uh, unfortunate for you Ura fans, uh, he's now six and eight. Can go seven and eight with a win tomorrow. We don't know who his opponent will be yet, and that'll help cushion. He's at M four. He'll only go down to like M five if he can get a win tomorrow. But for Atami Fuji, uh, a lot of people want to take over the Komasubi slots, so it's going to be tough. All right, uh, the sponsorship banners are going around. It is very much a full house at the Koku Gikan. The Mayonre banners are out, the ones that hang above the Yane, the roof. Uh, you know, there's the Japanese flag, and then there's those thin banners with the kanji on them. That means the arena is sold out for the day. Um, no surprise there. Uh, camera is now on Onosato as he sits ringside getting ready for his match against Shonana Umi. Now, I will stop and start the video for his match specifically, just because it's obviously a key matchup. And then the final two matches of the day, I'm going to do a members-only video again. So uh, for those of you watching this uh, on the public channel, uh, you just have to wait until I do my summary of all the matches to find out who wins the two Ozeki matches. Uh, that seemed to work well yesterday, and uh, so far no no strikes or anything, so uh, we're going to try that again today and just see how it goes. Um, if you if you want to join the channel <laughs> for the last two days, I, I don't think you probably want to, but if you do, um, it's still pretty cheap. I think it's you, you can do it for about $2 American, and uh, there's a join button right underneath uh, the screen on YouTube when you're on the, you know, the actual, maybe not on your television, like Apple TV or whatever, but when you're on the website, there's a little button that says join. I also put a link to it in the description box. Uh, so uh, look for that underneath the Onosato Shonano Umi match. Okay, um, so the leaderboard is is uh, set with seven guys all mathematically in the hunt. Now, if both Onosato and uh, Koto Zakura win today, uh, let's see. That means they'd be no. They're still they still haven't eliminated anybody. The four loss guys have to win. Obviously, if if they lose, they're eliminated. But if they win, it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, Onosato or Koto Zakura lose, then we could have a massive playoff if they both lose today or something. All right, they're showing the head to head. See, this is what I love. So this is a, they, these guys have fought twenty times. Takayasu versus Daisho. And the two recent times, not surprising, have gone the way of Daisho. But overall, Takayasu's won 11 of their 20 meetings. So uh, that probably goes back quite a while. 
Takayasu is wearing kind of a nice uh, deep blue, deep deep royal blue, maybe I want to call it, like a dark royal blue, uh, Mawashi, and, uh, you know, he's basically six and seven, if you count his absences and his losses, so a win here means he has a chance tomorrow to get Kachikoshi at M3, Daesho, like I said, already nine and four, pretty much already guaranteed of going back up into Sanyaku, unless uh, something weird happens. One of the Kobasubis was Asanoyama, and he's he's obviously pulled out of the tournament, so that slot's going to be open. But Sekewake Wakamoto Haru, you know, uh, probably will go all the way down out of Sanyaku. All right, here we go. He's 9 and 10 right after his return. Takayasu starting on the left. Daisho starting on the right. Double hand attack. Shifting well to the right. The body attack by Takayasu. Keeping a little. Daisho regroups. Back in the middle. Moves oh, oh. Takayasu and Daisho shoves Takayasu out. Daisho goes to 10 wins, 4 losses. Keeps his chances for his second Yusho. That's true. He, he's won one before and he could win this one. Uh, I was l grinning or laughing a little bit because the Gyoji... The on on Dohyo uh, judge lost his sandal uh, right at the end, and it was like kind of like right right where Takayasu was about to step to go out of the ring, and and uh, it didn't obviously impede the match in any way, but it was kind of interesting. Um, okay, so with that, Takayasu is now six wins, three losses, and five absences. So he's basically six and eight. So that's a Maki Koshi. Um, but, you know, it's good to see that he's been fighting. He fought well in this match. He just, you know, Daesho is on, on a pretty good streak here. And now at 10-4. and four. Okay, come on back for the next one. Thanks for watching.